John Michael. Nice to meet you. Yeah, What's nice. The, the last 24 hours have been like for you? Yeah. Here. Yeah, kind of just taking it all in. Um, Everyone's been telling me you only get drafted once, so uh, just celebrating with my family and uh, with the friends and the people that got me there. And I got got a great su support system and uh, very blessed and honored to be a part of this organization. And uh, yeah. I think it's back a year ago, like, and I think you were projected as like a top hundred prospect. Why you went back for the sixth year, and do you think that benefited you at all? Yeah, I mean the the main reason I went back was uh, for my team. Uh, came in with a, a lot of those guys that. Uh, uh, we're staying that extra year, and uh, I mean, just wanted to go back to give it one last shot of uh, go, uh, winning a Big Ten championship and uh, leaving it all on the table. So, yeah. Could you describe your relationship with PJ? Just what, what that was like and what he's like, and yeah, I mean, I mean, from the start, uh, I would just say committed to Coach Fleck at uh, Western Michigan, and uh, two weeks before National Signing Day. I got a call that he was coming to the University of Minnesota, so without even uh, stepping a foot on campus and uh, ste stepping a, a, a foot in the state of Minnesota, I committed right on spot just because I believed in him. And I, I was all in and bought into this culture and uh, was ready to go to battle for him. How much, is this, go ahead, Jordan. how much has this always been your dream, to be an NFL player? Or like, when did you like think that this was you know, realistic or that you, you know, would be sitting here right now. Yeah, um, I mean, I play. I, I've been playing football since I was five years old, and uh, just remember this uh, uh, this memory I have of me and my brother playing next to each other on the offensive line. My dad uh, coaching us up, and we have a great pitcher. And uh, I mean, just from that start, I mean, it was always a dream uh, to to be in my position, and just very honored and blessed to uh, be a part of this uh, organization. So yeah. You were a wrestler, right? Yes, I did wrestle when I was little and uh, wrestled for uh, in high school as well. Does, does that help you on the football field, or did it help you? Yeah, I mean, understanding uh, as an offensive lineman, understanding your uh, weight positioning, your body movement, um, uh, your force where you need to be, your hand placement, the grappling technique. Uh, I mean, that, that's, that's uh, all important stuff to have, uh, and it definitely benefited me. I mean, I have... I still talk to the, my wrestling coach today, and he's uh, yeah, he's a great guy. So it feels like a strange question to ask someone you just met, but uh, how much do you weigh, and, <laughs> <laughs> and how much do you want to play at? Yeah, so right now I'm around. Uh, I, I stay between 307 and 310, and uh, that's what I've, I've been playing at that weight since uh, probably the last four years. So uh, whatever uh, the the team needs me to play at, I'll be at. So. What is it about center? You know, there's five positions on the offensive line. What is it about center that you think you're good at that appeals to you? I mean, obviously nothing happens until, you know, you're the first one who touches the ball every play. So what, what is it about that specific position? Yeah, I mean, I'll just say uh, you're, you're the first one that gets to the ball. You're, it's got to be your mindset that you got to set the tone. Uh, it's, it's with your leadership. It's how you communicate down the line, making sure everyone's on the same page. I mean, uh, you got to be controlled. Uh, especially in a, heck, uh, a crazy atmosphere uh, if we're on a road game. So um, just making sure everyone gets the calls. Uh, you're working with the quarterback. You're working with the right and left side. And so, yeah. Now, Michael, what's it like to come to, to a team that has a need at your position where you conceivably could step right in and, and maybe man that position for a long time? Yeah, I mean, right now I'm really just focused on uh, getting in the building and uh, being around this team and getting ready to go to work. Can I talk to wrestling just for a second with you? Because so many players um, that I've talked to over the years have that kind of a background, and they're so um, grateful to have it. And how much do you like the idea that one-on-one -on -one yeah. is, is how wrestling is? And there is, at least to me, it seems, some translation to the football field there. Yeah, I mean, you definitely have that one-on-one -on -one battle. Uh, especially as an offensive line uh, perspective, um, it's uh, you, at the end of the day you got to win your battle, uh, and that goes across the board, uh, offense, defense, uh, no matter what position you are. And so that, that's how I'd say. How challenging is it like, if you're a younger center playing with more veteran linemen across the line? How challenging is it to be the leader of that group and earn the respect, you know, when you have less experience? Yeah, I mean. What I would say is, I would just say uh, it, it comes with um, 
you got to earn their trust, and it's by by uh, it's by how hard you work. It's, uh, when you come in every day with the mindset that you're going to get better, and at the end of the day, you got to uh, trust is earned. Uh, trust is earned over time, with time, consist consistency, and proof. And uh, I mean, those three things uh, don't happen overnight. So it's going to um, obviously you hard working on the field, in your playbook, uh, with your body, taking care of yourself, and uh, just honestly just uh, being a part of that team and getting close with one another. So, Different offenses uh, demand different things from a center, right? Um, what's your interpretation of what they're looking for you, uh, you know, from the center position? Yeah. The, yeah. Um, I'll just say just uh, to be that voice, um, to connect that group, and um, I just say uh, to uh, to set the tone, like I said before, set the tone from the start, and uh, be that uh, be that uh, that that tough offensive line that we want to be. So, were you able to find your voice early in your career, or was it a process to be able to get to that position to take command? Yeah, um, I uh, definitely over time developed. Um, I, I feel like I uh, had a voice early on, uh, but. You always, uh, you always keep changing. You always keep getting better. You always keep growing each and every day. Uh, and yeah. Most of the time, the centers make the line calls. How much film work is involved in that and getting ready for each game? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, um, a lot of work that goes into the, through the process leading up to game day. Uh, I mean, you're working with. Uh, Coming in with the whole offensive line, extra. You're you're working with uh, my offensive line coach uh, at the time, Coach Callahan. Coming in extra, seeing what uh, uh, needs to be done to get everyone on the same page. You're, I'm I'm watching film with the, our quarterbacks, uh, our running backs, and uh, just different position groups, making sure that we're on the same page as when we go out and play. That we're ready to go. So, did you, know, did you uh, talk to Carter Coughlin at all since you've been? <laughs> Yeah. What did he tell you about the, the Giants? Oh, I mean, he, he's very uh, excited to have me here. Uh, he was very, uh, um, just very uh, excited and uh, just kind of just uh, welcomed me in uh, to his family and uh, offered me a, a lot of whatever I need. I mean, he, he said he was going to be there for me, and uh, that's, that's just amazing. So, yeah. How did you adopt that thing called the dead ball snap technique? And is, does that change anything for the quarterback in your experience, or is that just something? Kind of, yeah. It didn't really change anything. Um, uh, just uh, something that uh, Coach Callahan uh, talked about that we were going to do in uh, experiment, and then ended up just being uh, uh, what we were going to do. Uh, had a lot more control of the ball and uh, more accuracy. So, yeah. You're obviously going to be working very closely with Daniel Jones, right? Yeah. I'm curious, what do you what do you know about him, if anything? Yeah, I mean, uh, definitely. I mean, he had a hell of a season uh, last year. Uh, I mean, he led that group. I mean, he's grown a lot uh, in, at his uh, quarterback position. He reached out last night, uh, sent me a text, and uh, very excited to work with him. And uh, very excited to work with this offense and get this get get things rolling. So, what, what do you know about Saquon Barkley? I mean, honestly, I think he's one of the best. He he's one of the best backs in the National Football League. He's he's a great player. Uh, I mean, he's explosive, and uh, I mean, he, he's tough. He's a, he, he runs the ball tough. So, yeah. This kind of year, we want to see highlights of guys, and it's always fun to see the highlights of the offensive line and which ones they choose. For you, do you have a favorite highlight of yours that if you walked into a meeting and someone said, show us your favorite highlight of you blocking someone, is there something that jumps to the front? Uh, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say there's none in particular that I would say. Uh, that, that's a big highlight, so yeah. Okay, well, just yeah. Looking at your highlights, it looks like Everything's shocking. Did you guys do any under center? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely this last season we did a lot of under center uh, to change it up uh, for defenses. Uh, so, yeah, I'm comfortable going under center or uh, in the shotgun. Bobby uh, Johnson likes to give his linemen colorful nicknames. Have you gotten yours yet? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have not. No, I have not. I'm just going to ask you about Bobby Johnson. What's, what's your interaction with him been like? Yeah, I mean, it, it's been a, a great. He's a, a tremendous coach, and uh, I met him at um, right before Pro Day. 
uh, he came out and uh, worked me out and we had dinner and uh, just a tremendous guy and very excited to uh, work with him and uh, develop a bond and get things. Yeah, oh, he, he's amazing, so.